Hello, this is Jinx. Today, I'd like to show you the 11 things that I did in Osaka, Japan that I thoroughly enjoyed, and maybe you would too. Some of the things I did are what every tourist does when they visit Osaka, but there were some things that not everyone does that are just as enjoyable. But first, we have to try not to miss our flight. And that's how we started our trip to Osaka, Japan, by almost missing our connecting flight there from Bangkok. Yes, uh, we have a boarding pass already. Yes, we do. You need to go upstairs on the third floor on that way. You go upstairs and go to the F to A. Upstairs, right? To make up for that though, we were greeted by a lovely sunrise as we approached this land of the rising sun. First things first though, need to make sure I don't have overnight flight breath. Okay, now to item number one. Have some vending machine coffee. Japan has vending machines that dispense almost everything under the sun, from normal items like coffee to more unique items like ramen or even cake in a can. Number two, take the Nankai Rapido train from the airport to the city. Looking like a train that Batman himself would ride in. With its awesome retro design, this train takes about 35 minutes to get you from Kansai Airport to Nanba Station in the heart of Osaka. Tickets cost around 1300 yen for a one-way trip. Number three, enjoy the sights and sounds of Dotonbori. With its bright and over-the-top neon-lit signs and an endless choice of restaurants and bars, Dotonbori never fails to ignite your senses of sight, sound, and taste. One of the most iconic signs here is the Glico Man sign, which has been overlooking the canal for over 80 years. Be sure to take your photo here. Number four, eat takoyaki and okonomiyaki. Osaka is known as the kitchen of Japan, and this reputation is well deserved. For most of the places that you're going to for food, because this is just such a touristy area, and if you want to go to the restaurants that are a little bit popular, be prepared to be in line. Is that 46? Did she say 46? So the texture is supposed to be like this, gooey in the inside, relatively soft looking from the outside, like me. Number five, visit the Osaka castle. You can't be eating all the time, right? So in between the moments when you are overeating, a visit to Osaka Castle feeds your soul with its amazing views and historical significance. Even the rain couldn't dampen our enthusiasm when we visited this place. Number 6. Visit the Osaka Museum of History. Located about 500 meters from the Osaka Castle grounds, this museum is filled with large and amazingly detailed exhibits to document the history of Osaka. You see that the music in this museum, in this particular hall is awesome. It really brings out the sense of wonder, and the sense of history in this place and the mysticism. We accidentally visited this place because we were wanting to avoid the rain. And we are certainly glad we did. This is my friend Koji. Hello Koji. Hello, Jinx. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. I'm going to take you out for some sushi. Let's go. Okay? Okay. Let's go. I didn't know Jean Simmons was a Japanese puppet. Number 7. Visit the Don Quixote store in Dotonbori. Although there are Don Quixote stores outside Japan, the ones here have some things that others don't. So this is really different from Malaysia, man. Branded bags. I would never have imagined the donkey store having Gucci, LV, <laughs> all that kind of stuff in this store. There's a sensor on the speaker that when it senses somebody here, it actually plays the theme song. Other than that, it's like quiet. So there's a difference between just buying the stuff in donkey and the tax free one. If you want to get the tax free benefits or being duty free, you buy the stuff and then they seal it up so you can't use it in your stay here. Number eight, Kachapon. Kachapon machines are hand-cranked vending machines that dispense capsule-sized toys 
and the varieties of capsule toys are endless. We went to a store that had a thousand machines and we were amazed at how addictive it was to get these toys. The toys range in prices from 200 to 500 yen. And of course, the prices depends on the size of the toys. I found one that I like. Must get it. So small. I feel cheated. Number nine. Karaoke! Yeah, yeah, I'm sure everyone has been to a karaoke place before. But going to a karaoke in Japan is a unique experience. Elvis is alive! <laughs> alive! After all, it did originate from here. First of all, the one we went to caters only to locals because everything was in Japanese and everything was automated. Google Translate was our friend here. Number 10. Shinsaibashi Suji Shopping Arcade. This 600 meter long shopping arcade is one of the most famous shopping areas in all of Osaka and is filled with all types of retail stores, from traditional kimono stores to more modern fashion retailers and almost everything in between. Number 11. The Magic Cafe in Shinsekai. Save this for last because this is a little different from the regular tourist spots. This is where we met Naoto, a master magician who may have been a little surprised that non-Japanese speakers actually visited the bar. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, come on in. Thank you. We also met Chiaki, another master magician who amazed us while we enjoyed the drinks and atmosphere. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, 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 okay. That's I nice. Don't know. Okay. I don't know. Next. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! That is awesome! I really appreciated not only how well Chaki and Naoto performed their magic, but also their infectious, fun personalities really added to the magic of the place. <laughs> yep, I really had an amazing time at Osaka. I really hope you get a chance to visit the places listed here. I certainly will come back to Osaka, and when I do, I hope to see you here too.